Hey guys, this is What If here, and welcome to a new series that is happening on the weekends from January all the way to September. Pretty much what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing all three series, Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup, 25% race length with uh, three times wear, auto hard difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in this game, and there is going to be no chase races, no stage points, no anything, just old school sort of you know points format. And the only way to get that in the game is by doing the, like, uh, 12 races for trucks and, like, 24 for Xfinity and 23 in Cup, like, under that sort of, like, uh, format or season type. So that's what we're going to be doing for the trucks. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this kind of plays out because it is just kind of, you know, uh, kind of back to basics, old school sort of racing I would kind of coin the term as. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No stage racing, no anything, just good old race, so... What car, or, or truck, I should say, that I'm going to be picking. I was going to go with Corbin Forrester, but I just think it's too obvious. So I have to think of something else. So what I might end up doing is I'm going to probably pick... I don't know. I'm going to go with Matt Mills, because this paint scheme is really freaking awesome. And I think he's always last in points anyways whenever I do truck series stuff and all that. So I, I think this would be the most likely choice. And also this scheme is freaking awesome. So we're going to go with that. So here we go. I'm just going to set all this up. I think I've already done this already at some point. So auto hard difficulty, 25% race length, three times fuel, uh, all yellow, single race stages, quick qualifying, race full damage, stability help off, uh, setups on uh, no, and transmission manual though I am going to be using pretty much a, a custom setup so at all these tracks which is mainly just lowering the the wedge and maybe messing with fourth gear for like Daytona and Talladega per se but that's really about the big changes so we're going to set all those sort of things we're going to go to schedule show you what the, the thing is like it's pretty much almost all of the normal truck races that you do in a season but it's only uh, you only go to it once I think there's probably some missing obviously uh, yeah, that's that's what we kind of have, and also considering it's 23 races in the normal truck series season, and this is like I don't even know what 12, so it's almost about half the schedule. So yeah, there you go. So, anyways, without further ado, I'm just gonna throw myself right into the race. I'm gonna show you the the custom setup that I'm gonna be using, just to show you the only modifications I'll make to to it, just so you know what I'm going into this race with, and we'll get into everything else. I'm not gonna do qualifying because there's no point in this game for restricted plates. Before I get into the race, this is the, the setup I'm going to be using. It's the, pretty much everything is the same, the only thing is changes fourth gear, so instead of it being at 1, it's at 95, just so uh, the car gets a little bit more speed and it doesn't max out. I don't know, it's weird, lowering it helps the, the overall speed or keeps the speed of the truck up or whatever, so that's what we're going to be using. So let's just head straight into this race, I think it's like 25 laps, I'm not too sure. So here we go. And green flags that were underway. And I think it's, I believe it's 25 laps. And I think we'll have to do one green flag pit stop, if I can recall correctly. Yeah, 25 laps. And, yeah, 14 laps. Okay, so yeah, one definite pit stop. I'm just going to back off here so they don't run into me as Cabaret kind of does that, which I think is a NASCAR Next driver. Which is weird, because once that NASCAR Next thing came out for this game, uh, a lot of them got into the truck series and uh, there, there has to be some that kind of like took out a bunch of other like uh, f lower funded teams or something so we actually got to a really bad start almost are gonna lose the draft however we get the draft from him and then that's good so we're just gonna suck back up into his inside it is really weird just how much more challenging and difficult this game is on auto hard difficulty it's kind of surreal to think because in career mode even on a five-star team even with the default setup and not changing anything the car is really just so just you can kind of blow by the field and get up there pretty easily um, I don't know why my voice kind of cracked there for no reason or kind of fell apart <laughs> I don't know we're gonna get the inside of Smith and there we go just fine big thing at this track is just always trying to find an opening on the bottom and try to take advantage of any gap there is uh, available to kind of squeeze your nose in there so that's kind of the plan I'm doing. It's nothing really too crazy. It's kind of stick. Yeah, kind of. I mean, we could kind of use the side draft a little bit. Get side by side with TJ Bell. This is a long race. We got a lot of time to kind of just chill and just go through the field bit by bit. I'm on the you know, obviously the you know the nose cam just so you know I can see and make better judgments and everything. So 
this, this seems to be the best angle to use for these sort of tracks when you're in a big pack like this is I, I don't know what that was he was like the truck was just wiggling beside me so I'm not sure how the shaving ship is gonna play out because when I I, I did a, a live stream I think I live streamed like the last two races of this sort of championship mode just for fun and it was like kind of easy at the like the last two races However, the other like couple of them here and there throughout the, the season were really tough and challenging. So I don't think it's going to be like a cakewalk or anything of that sort. So I'm just really curious to see once we get past Daytona and go into Atlanta and then whatever race is next. Yeah, it's, we're going to see the, the real difficulty of this game kind of really amp up a lot more. So I'm already making our way up through the field pretty well. We're up in 22nd, gained 10 spots in a spot. I was going to say five laps, but it's only three. Now normally whenever you do these sort of races, there's always like a few trucks here and there that aren't in this mode, and a lot of the NASCAR next drivers are, so I don't know which ones that aren't in this race right now. I remember when I did a championship mode, just for, for shits and giggles for the Cup Series, just off camera, just messing around with the game. I remember uh, doing a Cup Series season, and they actually excluded Dale Jr. from it, which is interesting, so I guess it's just sort of random of like what car or vehicle Kind of just gets you know out of the championship mode if there's more than you know 40 cars or 30 you know, 32 in this case for trucks so it's interesting so i'm not quite sure if there's anyone like big names smaller names that are kind of just left out for all the nascar and extra which is weird because like even before this game was uh, patched and they added that in uh, the field was filled enough to have all the you know normal you know truck series drivers and everything now so you didn't need nascar next ones to kind of fill that gap up so I'm not really sure about why they did that or why it's like that to such an extreme. It feels like it's like eight or nine of them are in here. So, oh yeah, we're definitely moving our way up through the field. We're doing really well. Jennifer Joe Cobb's like in 10th. <laughs> like, okay. So, and the weird thing is with, this, with the trucks here, since we're in a big pack here, I don't really need to chop any of this out and everything. Yeah, the one thing that I've been noticing when I was practicing for the trucks at Daytona is that their, their AI pit strategy is actually pretty good they pit when they normally should which is always right around like two or so laps in their fuel tank well in the cup series they pit like five laps before they run out which is weird so the trucks at least as far as that's concerned have better restrictor plate pit strategy for the ai which is weird i don't know it's just something i noticed so when we get to the i guess potentially the xfinity and cup i don't know if it's going to be like that xfinity i really don't remember i think it's just for cup strictly but I might obviously lower that so it's like two times wear or something or one times or something. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do for that, but yeah, we're doing really well right now. We're making our way through the field. Again, it's not like it's just it's taking us some time a bit here and there. The big the big worry I have is like trying to get the lead and trying to maintain it because obviously we have a really good truck. I just don't know if we have like the sort of vehicle to kind of just you know get the lead and kind of pull away as we really can't go anywhere right now. Try to get the inside of Cobb, get the draft from Cindric a bit, but it's not going to be enough. Briscoe goes down low, so we'll get the help from him, and then Jennifer just goes back in line, so good for her. And she leaves me an opening, so I'm just going to take advantage of it. I almost snipped the curb, the curb or apron. Curb. <laughs> the apron. So now we get by Jennifer, and I want to go to the outside, but there's no room anywhere, so I'm just going to bump Briscoe, give him a shot, and he's not doing anything with that. He's just kind of standing there, so. Oh, God, that's annoying. So let's try to get back down the end. Nah, I can't really get by him. We're just kind of stuck now. <sighs> Come on, just, just give me an opening. Just give me an opening, Briscoe, you son of a bitch. All right, let's try this again, see if we can get another opening. I'll just keep giving him a shot. And, oh, oh, there we go. We got an opening, but nobody's going with me, so I can't take that momentum. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, please. Oh, it's just, okay. Or is this, it's just, it's just that, is this how it's going to be? Just, just wow. Regan Smith is the leader. Wow. Okay. Briscoe, do something. You know what? Just just move. Can I get help? <laughs> like, okay, we're going to get side drafts, so I guess that's going to help a little bit. So finally, we'll crack inside the top five. Is I don't know who's going to take the lead now. Who, who is that? That is... Is that, like, Tyler Young? <laughs> Oh my god, this race. I always have like really unusual names up at the front of these at Daytona. <laughs> and this is one of them. So 
17 to go. Got seven more laps on the field, so we'll probably be pitting within the next five laps at least. Well, I was going to get by Ed Finger, but he kind of cut me off. Uh, no big deal. We're running really well at this point. I'm just really, like, I, I'm just kind of worried for future tracks in this. So I really want to do well again at these tracks that I know I can do well at, just in case, to kind of get a little buffer zone in points. And that is Austin Hill. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I think they're teammates, Tyler Young and Austin Hill. So I think I was right, but it was just a different teammate. Or it, was the, it was the right team, but a wrong driver. So, trying to get to Austin. Well, I don't know why I hit the curb there, but paper and God, curbs on the road course. So, got the draft from Austin Hill, trying to do something with it. I think, I think obviously, as you could tell just from just the, these last uh, 10 laps, the, this game is, like, this mode is so much harder, and it's kind of a shame that the career mode doesn't have the auto hard difficulty, or I guess just a harder uh, thing in general for it, because I think the game, if it was under that specific setting for career mode, I feel like it would be really challenging, and it would be a lot more fun to do if you're going to be doing a five-star team or even four-star or three-star. So, I don't know, I just I just think that it could be a lot harder, which is such a shame. Because, <laughs> I mean, this game is such a bet, so much better than Asperger he Evolution. As I'm talking about that, we're going to get the lead, and yeah, we clear Austin Hill. <laughs> Holy shit. Took us 10 laps, we finally get up to the front, and as long as they're, like, double file like this, we can pretty much block them and really not have to worry about, uh, you know, you know, losing the lead or anything. It's only when they get three wise where it becomes an issue. You know, we're starting to get low on fuel. I mean, really, nothing's happened. It's just I've been just kind of still leading, blocking the lanes. Nothing really too crazy. I don't, they might be heading down Piro this lap, if I'm correct. Yeah, I see some in the background starting to pit, so we'll probably head down Piro this time by, or this lap, I should say. So uh, the plan, basically, just you know, take no tires and fuel, just enough fuel to make it to the end, which is probably probably going to take like 1.5 cans of fuel, and we'll probably go from there. So. Yeah, that, that's our plan. Uh, maybe actually full tank will probably work, so... Yeah, that's that's about the extent of my plan. Alright, here we go. Heading down pit road. I'm scared because they just... They're they're just so wacky getting down pit road, so I might lose some spots here. And... There we go. Perfect. So, two tires, not repair damage, fuel. Alright, let's see. Uh, I mean, you really can't worry about our pit crew. We'll do, so... We just hope we get out of pit road fine. Alright. And it's 11.6, and we're just going to chill. Okay, what is this, F1? We're just going to let people go by when we're on pit road, just out of courtesy. Oh, my God, I lost so much spots because of that. That is such bullshit. Oh, God. I mean, we might have lost some spots anyways because we took two cans, but that that just sitting there on pit road for, like, what, about, like, three seconds, that, that hurts so much. Now we got to find some kind of drafting partner or something just to have a shot at uh i guess a good finish or whatever we're gonna get i don't know i'm assuming top five but uh that's that's frustrating okay christopher bell i'm gonna let you go by but i swear to god if you pull away from me ooh, i'm gonna be mad because i need the draft okay bell just bell what are you pff, you bum are you god damn it i hate this game sometimes corbin forrester's in the top 10 all right, well, I mean, we're going to be in the top 10, but still, we lost a lot of spots. And am I going to... I guess I'm going to have to help uh, Jennifer Joe jo Cobby get back up there. I just need a drafting help, and then we can just kind of get up to the front. Because they're all just spread it out. Like, it shouldn't be too complicated once we get some help. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of things easier. Austin Sendrick is leading with Clay Greenfield second. All right, well that makes things easier. I don't know how to, what you know what the caution could have been for, but at least we're gonna be on the inside lane with like what six to go. So, um, yeah, I mean, was, we're, I was just starting to catch uh, Jennifer Joe Cobb, so yeah, it was gonna something, something was gonna happen. And John Hunter even check and also Wayne Self had something happen to them. I don't know what, but all right, well let's just uh, get this restart going here. I think it's gonna be like what six to go for five. I don't know, but this is a perfect start. We got Corbin Forrester in a top ten. We got Clay Greenfield second. I mean, Jennifer Joe Cobb there too. All right, let's go back to hood cam. Okay, so it is about what, six to go. Five. Okay. Well, yeah. What am I talking about? So, 
Go get off to a really good start. Get to the inside of TJ Bell. Again, with doing manual gears and just everything. Just get such a good jump on the start. And we do exactly that. Went from, what, 7th to almost 2nd. <laughs> and Austin Cindric's leading, which well, I don't want that to happen. I don't want him to win any race. So I'm going to try everything in my power to get by him. As TJ Bell has some damage on the front bumper of his car, which is her truck. So that's interesting. I want to go up and drive with Cindric, but if I leave the bottom open, somebody could try to sneak on the inside. So that's why I'm deciding not to do, like, try to do that too much right now. At least that's my reason. So Cindric's pulling away. This is Daytona. We'll, we'll reel him back in and try to get, you know, slingshot around him. Definitely got plenty of time to kind of make this move. And I think once we completely get by him, uh, it'll be kind of like an easy blocking game. As long as they don't go three wide, because then I can't really block all three lanes. But. So we got four more to go. We're reeling him in just a little bit. And, yeah, we just got to set him up and hopefully get, like, a run, like, perfectly off of the, you know, off of turn two or four. And we can kind of work from there, so... That's one. That's one tricky thing of trying to make a pass uh, when you're, you know, when you're a second trying to get to the leader, because it's so difficult to kind of, you know, fully get around them. As what we have, Justin Haley in third, huh? And Ch Chase Cabaret, huh? That's that's a funky. Would have never thought. Brandon Brown as well. <laughs> oh boy, this this field order is weird. <laughs> so, cop to Cindric and try to. You know, we're getting a run on him a little bit. I just don't know when we make a move. We get to his inside at any point and kind of try to side draft with him. We'll get a shot. We're kind of getting a run on him now. We duck down low. And this that was perfect. We can try to do some side draft. Try to give you side by side with them. Push him out the track just a little, get a little bit and get back down. And do we have him fully clear? Yes, we do. Perfect. And that was, that was kind of textbook, not what I was saying about getting a runoff turn two or four. We kind of had the trial, but it, we got the lead. That's all that matters. Here we go. White flags out for ourselves one more time around. It's just still blocking the lanes. Any sort of momentum that's going, we kind of just cut them off, and it's been working really, really well. They haven't been able to to go three wide behind me, which I'm kind of scared that that might, that, you know, that might happen, but I'm just kind of mirror driving, obviously, right now. So you block to the outside, we're just going to kind of stay in the middle. This is almost like a NASCAR Thunder 2004 technique, where if you just stay kind of like in the middle of those two lanes behind you, they can't really go anywhere. Oh, God, no. Oh, okay, I thought since you're kind of on the outside for a second, I was going to be really mad. <laughs> and he kind of is. We block him up high, get back down low. Okay, I was a little close. Off turn four, block him again. And, oh, Haley, hello. All right, here we go. We're going to win this race. I almost didn't even pay attention because I was just blocking every lane. Goodness. Well, that was a, lot, a little bit uh, a little bit tricky. They, they tried. I mean, it was, a little, it, was a pretty, it, was, it was actually kind of tricky. Here's the race results. We got the win. Haley second. Brandon Brown fourth. I think I saw Clay Greenfield in the top ten. Um, Corbin Forrester started like eighth or something on the last restart. Dropped back. Hunter Nemechek had a bad race as well as Christopher Bell, I believe. So, Chase, yeah, okay. So, yeah, let me see. Yeah, Bell had got 21st. Yeah, Crafton 25th. Yeah, a lot of good trucks way, way in the back. So, that'll kind of, that'll kind of help us out in the points. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, we get the lead. Because we won, we get those, I guess, five extra points. You know, if we get the win, or, yeah, something like that. So, there you go. There's the standings. And, uh, yeah, I, don't know. I mean, victory lane, I guess. I mean,. I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, I've seen this so much in career mode, but I thought I should show at least here once. So, yeah, this. God, this truck is so nice. And I don't know if that is. I guess that's Matt Mills. I, I, I guess that's him. Close enough. From Daytona, we go to Atlanta. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Atlanta is pretty fun, the trucks, and it's going to be interesting to see how that kind of plays out. So. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, thought it was, you know, fun. I, I don't know. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adair Rail, Scott Browning, Roland Hoff, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Game Chef Gorn, and Ryan Lazen for your donation. Again, I can't thank you enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It does mean a lot to me, and all of you guys are seriously awesome for it. See you all next race at Atlanta for race 2 of 12 in this championship mode in the truck series. I'll see you all there, and as always, have a good day, everyone.